Hi Flosstube, it's Kippy, the Academic Stitcher. Thanks for coming back to my channel. It is Sunday, March the 22nd. I hope that everyone is well and is weathering the quarantine uh, state of life right now as well as you possibly can. Um, it's a little, I think it's a little bit, maybe not as difficult for me because I work remote anyway. Um, but there's something, there's something different about, you know, being somewhat isolated because that's what I choose versus being isolated because I, you know, I've been told to do that. Um, so, you know, it, this is something that um, I think we're all going to come out on the other side of um, changed, um, but hopefully stronger. Um, and I, I noticed, uh, or I heard on the news, um, I think it was Friday, that um, someone commented uh, that it's, it's very interesting how we are um, being forced to be apart from one another, separated, but it seems to be bringing us all together, um, ironically. So um, I, I hope that that continues. Um, there, there's been so many, so many kind things said and done. Um, I've seen so many things on the news that, of, of course, are disheartening. Um, you know, numbers are rising and such, but so many kind things that people have done for others that um, it it just it lightens my heart. So I hope that um, even though we're isolated, even though we're apart, um, that this continues to bring us all together. So that being said, I wanted to share some of my stitching with you um, that I've done since the last time we were together, which was a couple of weeks ago. Um, I actually have a finish, um, and that is uh, Little House Needleworks Suffrage Act. I love this piece. Um, I haven't FFO'd it, um, but I do have it mounted. Um, there you go. I just love my my little suffragette. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that um, I did most of the called for colors, um, except for her dress. The called for is uh, classic Colorworks um, vintage lace. I used Gentle Art vintage lace because there was there was more color in it. The the classic Colorworks was very white, and so I just. Uh, I wanted to tone the white down just a little. Now, I did use um, the Classic Colorworks um, Vintage Lace in all of the white here and in the flag. Um, but the the column and her dress, that's all general art. Uh, I also changed the reds. I don't remember what was called for in the chart, but I used, um, used brick, I believe, um, for the brick. And then also for the top uh, border here, uh, and I used Hollyberry for the red in the bunting and the flag. But the blues are the same. Um, everything else is uh, what is called for in the pattern. So there is Suffragette. Thanks to Colleen and Cheryl from Stitching with the Sisterlies who hosted this stitch along. I, I've looked through some of the things that I have in my closet to um, try to FFO this, and I really haven't found anything there that just, um, I, I, that I really thought was, was the right finish for this piece. Um, and I can't go and just, you know, meander around Hobby Lobby and, and try to find something right now. So um, I'm going to leave it just like this for now, and then when all of this is passed and we can all go out again, I will find something that will be appropriate for finishing that piece. Um, 
as far as what I've worked on, um, this is Anniversaries of the Heart by Blackbird. Um, I finished the extra chart, the, the bonus chart, which is, oh, I always have some, such trouble with this. Uh, the bonus chart, which is this wonderful little sampler that is, here's the chart here. It's on the back of uh, the number seven pattern, um, Swan Lake. So I, I should be halfway through with March's um, house by now. Mm, not happening. I really need to stop neglecting this one. Um, but uh, and ironically, on March, March is one of the ones that I know whose name um, and information I'm going to put all the, uh, for January and February. I have left those blank for now. But March, I'm putting uh, my maternal grandmother's information in um, because she was born on March 5th. So um, that one, and that's a, uh, that's a stitch along that I'm uh, participating with uh, Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts and Deborah from Canopy Stitches um, on Instagram and Olivia is Instagram and on YouTube. Floss um, Okay, another, sorry about the crinkling, um, another one I'm doing is Prim Village uh, by Lori Holt and it's so Emma. Uh, Kimberly at that quarter shop is posting a stitch along on this one and I know how I'm going to finish this one even before I started I knew how I was going to finish it um, I'm going to do one long row of houses um, and I'm using my own um, colors um, the colors that were called for were a little um, uh, maybe they were uh, bright is the wrong word I don't really know I, I wanted a, a colors that were a, a little more in line with with my my decor in my house um, and so I'm just picking out my own um, and if you're interested in those colors um, I can put those on Instagram uh, but I'm just going to fill this entire piece up this is 28 count Monaco uh, that I uh, dyed with camel dye whoops there we go uh, but I'm just going to fill a long row of houses here and do one row underneath, one row here of the the little quilt, uh, just like this. The this the little down here has two rows, but I'm not going to do two rows. I'm just going to do one. I think. I don't know. I may have done a. Now that I say that. I may have actually left a row for two. So one way or the other, it will have a border on it, but only on the bottom. I am going to put the, the stitched border on the top, but only on the bottom am I going to put the quilt, uh, little quilt squares. So that one, and I really, I just, every time I look at this fabric, I just love it. It started out as um, antique white Monaco, and the camel just, ugh, perfect. I loved it. I am so completely sold on dyeing my own fabric. I I love it. It is so cool. It's so much fun to see how it comes out. Um, this is another piece uh, that I am th that I dyed. Um, this is Rabbit Run by Prairie Schooler and I got this from um, Down Sunshine Lane. If you haven't ordered from Down Sunshine Lane, you should. Their customer service is wonderful. They ship really fast. Um, I was thrilled to find out that this is an old school prairie schooler. This is actually, this is on cardstock. It's not one of the new copies. So I was really happy to find this. Um, if you watched Priscilla and Chelsea um, in Priscilla's uh, spring home tour that she did, she had this, uh, this piece finished um, in, that, in her home tour. And I saw it and totally, I mean, I love Quaker style, the Quaker samplers. I'll show you my Christmas sampler in just a minute. Um, but 
Yeah, I had to have this one. And I'm so, here, let me show you my, what I've got so far. This is a piece of white Monaco that I dyed with pearl gray writ dye. And I just love it. I love the way it turned out. Let me show you a little bit more of it. Whoops, the piece is upside down. There we go. Um, so, oh, I, I just, I love it. Couldn't be happier with it. Um, but, I mean, look at the bunnies. Look at the little bunnies. They're just so, they're so wonderful. I think my favorite, my favorite bunny is this one, this one up here on the top. I just think he is so cute. But they're all wonderful. And so I have neglected everything else uh, since I got this one. Um, I think I got it on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, and I've, this is the only thing I've stitched on almost since then. It's, it's very Easterish, and besides the fact that I love it. Um, Easter is coming around pretty quickly. Um, and we were planning on having Easter lunch um, with all my grandkids, and we were going to have an Easter egg hunt and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't look like that's going to happen now. But we could always do it later. We can do it later. I'm not going to let this virus get us down. But I want this finished this spring. So I'm spending a tremendous amount of time on it. I would, a, a couple of you have commented on my pictures on Instagram um, that you were planning on doing this one. I would highly recommend that whatever color you get uh, for your bunnies, I'm using the call for colors all in, in the chart. Usually when I do Prairie Schooler, I don't know, there's just something about Prairie Schooler that feels just wrong to change for me. I mean, you, you do you, but for me, I, I pretty much keep them the same. Um, as the call for. So whatever you choose to do this main color in where, you know, all of the borders, all of that, um, I've got not quite half the chart done and I've already used a whole skein of that color. Um, I bought three. I was going to use two for this one and, or, you know, one in part, I thought, no, it's taken a lot more and I'm using two strands over two. Um, it's probably going to take two full skeins plus some more to finish this out because I have not even gotten to um, some of these where this rabbit, these chickens, and this rabbit are, are so solid um, that they're going to take a good amount of, of floss. So I would get three skeins of whatever you're going to use that for that main color. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I thought of that when I bought this last week before it was harder to go to town and get what you needed. So, rabbit run. Um, I'm also doing the Bloomtopia cross stitch with Kimberly at Back Workshop. Um, this is release four. Uh, great opportunity um, to uh, help support Make-A-Wish. And I'm doing mine. This was writ dyed using denim. This was a white Ada, um, and this flower right here at the bottom, this was release four, and I am obviously changing all of my colors um, to patriotic, um, and my, uh, the, the flosses that I'm using uh, are listed on my Instagram. Um, the last piece that I'm working on cross stitch, and I'm sorry, I, I hate to, for you guys have to hear the, the crinkle. Um, I'll leave this in here. Hopefully you can see it. I'm doing Quaker Christmas 2 by Bygone Stitches. There we go. I love this piece. Um, I love my colors. I'm just using Cherry Cobbler and Steamed Broccoli by Classic Color Works. And this is another piece of fabric that I writ dyed. This was white 32 count Lugana, and I used taupe, writ taupe 
on this one. And this is a huge piece of fabric because this is a huge piece. So there we go. There we go. All right. So I always, if when I have a choice, I start in the bottom left hand corner and that's where I started on this one. And I do love it. I've said before that my goal is to do one large or two or three small motifs each week. Um, I'm not trying to get this done all at once or anything like that. I just would love to have it done uh, before Christmas this year. We'll see. Um, but uh, I was really on track for that until I started Rabbit Run. <laughs> And I haven't touched this one since I started Rabbit Run, but uh, I am going to get back to it. Um, again, I'm sorry, did I say this is another writ dyed um, piece? So, yeah, I'm, I'm dying just about everything that I do now. Um, I've got some quilts um, that I've been working on, but I'll save that till the end just in case some of you are not interested in the quilts. Um, haul. Um, I, I am comforted by retail therapy. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm just, you know, things are a little bit challenging, there's more stress of, you know, things going on either at work or whatever, I find myself having to resist, um, buying more stuff um so there were some things that from market that i absolutely loved i did buy some of them i did not buy all of them and i don't want to buy all of them because that would not that would just not be smart because i know i'm not going to do them I, I i just don't have time um i i wouldn't be able to do them anywhere in the foreseeable future however um, during this time, I want to support these smaller businesses um, because they are the ones that are hurting the most. And so if I can buy a chart now and then that, you know, or, or two, that's going to help them. It's the same thing, you know, we here in my area, um, Texas is not locked down. So we can still go to the grocery store, we can go to the post office, we can go to the bank, um, and we can go to restaurants if we drive through um, where they bring it out to the car to you. Um, so I'm trying every, every couple of days, which is a lot more than I ate out before, um, it's the small businesses that are, that are gonna be hurt so much um, and so I just want to do what I can to try to help. So um, I, I think that it's another way that we can we can help one another while we get through this. Um, so all that to say, I have I have some haul. Um, I'm excited to show it to you, uh, but it's not as much as I might uh, might have liked to have had. But um, I do actually have a couple of other orders coming in this next week. Um, so I'll have more to show you later. And I tell you what, the more that I watch Floss <laughs> um, the more I end up buying. Uh, one of these, uh, I'll, I'll show you when I get to it. I saw um, Laura from Brenda, uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter. She showed this and I immediately ordered it because it was adorable. Um, and so floss tube, floss tube therapy, retail therapy, yeah, let's just all support one another. Um, I, this is the very first Madame Ch Chantilly that I've, I, I've, I've ever ordered, and I absolutely love it. It's called Oh Christmas Tree, and it doesn't, doesn't show up super, super well, but look at the bear and the tree and the Santa and the red truck. The red truck. I mean, come on. I can't wait to start this one.
I think I'll probably start this one uh, from mania. I need I need to start putting together a mania list and start making some plans. Um, but this one is a definite have to start. I just love it. I actually have um, a couple of other Madame Chantilly coming from maybe Fat Quarter Shop this week. Um, so I, I just, I love that one. Um, this, oh my word, oh my word, A Shepherd's Song by Plum Street. Um, I've told you before that I love sheep. And look at these sheep. Look at these sheep. There are, over here, this side, swirls and chevron and polka dots and stripes. And oh my goodness. I absolutely, absolutely love this one. Um, I am not going to start it. I will not start this one until I have another one of my big ones finished. I'm not going to do it. I told myself that um, for Rabbit Run, and that made me finish um, uh, um, Suffragette. Ugh. Words, words. Um, so I am not going to start this one until I finish another one of my big ones because I just, I, that's, I won't finish. And I, there's, there's no reason to start. But well, just the comfort of starting is so, there's something comforting about starting one of these projects. But I have so many others kitted up. Oh, well, we'll decide. But I'm probably not going to start that one until I finish another big one. This one, and I put it in here because I was starting to kit it up. Um, this is the one that Laura showed and it's called Be Not Weary and oh my goodness what it's one of those messages for the time that we're in right now but uh, Be Not Weary and Well Doing and it's looks like a little chocolate bunny and it's amazing and this is one of one that I also ordered from Down Sunshine Lane. Um, I did notice though when I was starting to pick out my floss that um, the symbols, the symbols on the chart, are, are in the legend did not match the symbols on the chart, um, and so I was like, I, there were one or two that were the same, but whatever color it said, the chart said didn't match what was on the picture at all like like completely different and so I emailed um, Tracy who is the designer um, I'm not I'm sorry didn't email her I sent her a message on Instagram and um, told her you know or I asked her if there was a corrected chart and she was so nice I mean like within just a few hours had replied to my message and sent me a picture of the right um, or the correct um, legend so now that's all taken care of just um, if you if you pick this one up I would just say uh, if you're in a, a, one of uh, one of your local shops check and make sure that all of the um, uh, the symbols are, are the same um, because this one uh, it says be not weary but these are these are the wrong symbols so just just watch on that um, I also picked up this one because I mean come on I I love Priscilla's work it's it's fantastic it's so much fun it's so springy um, I also there were a couple of those in here that I absolutely love and will absolutely be stitching bunnies I mean I love bunnies and this one is adorable. Um, I don't know that I'm going to use, it calls for um, classic color works. I don't know that I'm going to use classic color works. I may just use a DMC. Um, there isn't a DMC conversion. Yes, there is. Sorry. There is a DMC conversion. Um, and I probably am just going to use that. It's a small one. It's not going to be out for long uh, periods of time. So, And the other one that I absolutely loved was, see if I can find it real quick, well, I want this bunny, 
see, where is he? Oh, I have such trouble with this backwards thing. There we go. The Bunny by Teresa Cobit. Yep, love him. And the other one that I cannot wait to start, very springy. Sorry, I should have marked these first. I know he's in here somewhere. So much good stuff in this one. So much good stuff. There he is. The Robin. Probably just do the Robin. But uh, And I think someone, was it Olivia? Who said that she was, uh, I think she said, when she did uh, posted her latest floss tube, she said the same thing that she was going to leave off the words, and I think I am on mine too. I I just love the little robin with the little eggs in the nest. So I haven't subscribed to this yet, but I I think I probably will because it'll be, you know, it'll come to my come to my mailbox. Um, I picked up this is an older one by Priscilla um, Rose Cottage. And um, I just, I love it. I, I don't know that I'll do pink roses. I think I may do red ones, um, but I, we'll see. Um, for the most part, I'm, I'm not a real pink girl. Um, so red roses just seem more like summer to me. So probably gonna do red. Um, also this one, oh. Heaven and Nature by Teresa Kogut. Um, oh my word. I think I'm, I'm going to stitch the whole thing. Um, don't know when I'll get to it, but oh my word, it's absolutely beautiful. That red house, look how huge that house is. That'll take a week just to do all the stitching on the house. But it's wonderful. Um, I also got my floss fix from Fat Quarter Shop. Greens. Look how pretty those greens are. Yeah. And I don't know if you know or not. You probably do. But uh, Fat Quarter Shop is doing a new floss club with Weeks Dye Works. Um, I immediately signed up for that. Um, I would love. I wish they would do gentle arts. Gentle arts is probably my favorite of the the three of classic color works weeks and gentle art. Gentle art is probably my favorite. Um, I would love for them to do that. But oh my goodness, do I need more floss? Need want you know? Come on. Um, then I picked up two blackbirds because I love blackbird. Um, the first one, and it was like. Another one of those, wow, this is perfect for right now, and that is We Live in Hope. Um, just absolutely love this piece. And this piece, the, this chart is also included. Be just and fear not. Yeah. And then the one, ugh. Oh, Oh my word, everything in here is just beautiful. It is, a, a, look at that drum, that, mm, the fabric looks kind of pink. And look at that. She works with willing hands in delight. Ah, there is nothing in this book that I don't love. Um, and the book itself is just beautiful. Um, if you haven't picked this one up, I mean, it's, it's like 28 or $29, but there are 16 designs in here, 16. This one has two, and it was like 16 or 
for 28 there's 16 designs in this one so at first it was like whoa how much oh well you get all of that stuff okay so um and i think i actually have another blackbird on the way so um that's what i have haul wise um i wanted to show you my uh, quilting that I've been working on, my quilt blocks, um, and then I have a giveaway update at the end. So, um, I, I've shown you uh, in the past, I've shown you uh, my first month for Derby House uh, by Minnick and Simpson, uh, and uh, this, this month uh, is the first of several very large applique blocks and Colleen I can applique <laughs> I this took an entire day it took an entire day um, to cut all the pieces out to um, uh, do all the stitching and I did all the stitching on my computer on my computer on my sewing machine um, I, the the little tw the little sticks of uh, little branches those are all satin stitched um, and the all around the outside is a um, is a blanket stitch on all of the um, pieces and then I used a specialty stitch for the bird's eye um, I just if I'm gonna stitch I want it to be cross stitch I don't really want to stitch um, hand stitch on the quilt. So uh, then I had a few other pieces. I hope, hope my dog's not too loud. I can hear her on inside the house. Um, she wanted to come out here, but I wouldn't let her because she was barking too much. Um, so I just saw a piece I need to trim off. Um, these are also some of the blocks from this month. I love Minnick and Simpson. Oh my word. I love the red, white, and blue. Anything red, white, and blue I love. Uh, but theirs in particular is beautiful. And then there were five of these. So again, we've got lots of little pieces, little pieces of thread so sorry about that if those show up I'm trying to shake them off here this is I think this one's my favorite of this group although it could be this one so Minnick and Simpson Derby House um, month oh don't touch your face right don't touch your face uh, Minnick and Simpson Derby House month two and then I have caught up on my blockheads. This was, and you know what? I've lost track of the week numbers. So I don't know what week numbers they are, but um, there's this, and I did fussy cut the centerpiece so that the rose was there. I love, I think so far, this is my favorite block. Uh, love love this block love the way it looks I'm using um, all my red low volume and blue both light blue and dark blue um, scraps and stash of my Sherry and Chelsea fabrics for this quilt but I am watching Laurie Simpson of Minnick and Simpson um, I'm sort of following her color placement um, that she's doing in her blockheads blocks um, and it was uh, I think in the uh, in the the person who designed this one and, and Laurie may have designed this one I can't remember but um, this uh, this one in particular I just love the way that she had her fabrics placed so in her her colors so favorite one so far I also love this one and 
Um, I will never, uh, I will almost always, let's put it that way, I will almost always cut down on seams if I can. Um, if it doesn't make any sense to me why a seam is there, I will, I will find a way to cut the seam out. For instance, on this one, the pattern had this block and then one, two, three, four blocks here. So that was two uh, red and white, four patches. And then these were also four patches. That made no sense to me whatsoever. They were plain. They, they were all white, but they were four patches. I don't know why you would want to do that. I mean, you may, and you may just enjoy piecing, and that's fine. I I don't want to do that. I, I want to use as few seams as possible um, because it takes less time, and it makes, there's less bulk, and I just, you know, I, I want to spend my time as wisely as I can. So um, I made these just solid. The, this one and this one are solid instead of four patch plain white. So, um, also on this block, whichever way you, you can look at it this way, um, the pattern had uh, at these, this was um, a pinwheel uh, block, and this was a pinwheel block, and then there was a plain block or, or, or uh, block that matched the pinwheel on both sides, the same fabrics, but there was a seam here and a seam here. And that just, again, I, I don't, I, I'm going to leave a seam out if I can. And that's what I did. I just um, put corners um, on these strips and uh, left out the seam and cut out some of the bulk and some of the time in that block. So, Moda block heads all done, all caught up. Now I, I am missing one week because I did not do the, um, well actually, sorry, I'm missing two weeks. Um, I didn't do the applique block and I didn't do the paper piece block. Not because I don't paper piece, I paper piece all the time. In fact, these triangles were paper pieced. Um, I, I just, I didn't, I, I want all my blocks to be pieced blocks that are more traditional um, and the paper piece block that said love which was nice and I think I've, I've got the pattern I'll probably make a pillow or something but I just didn't I didn't like it in the the whole scheme of what I was planning for the um, uh, the quilt top that I'm the way I have it envisioned so I didn't do that block and I didn't do the little birdhouse block um, so I'm I'm missing two blocks, but they're be they're intentionally missed. So, as far as the ones that I plan to do, I'm caught up. Yay! Um, because I was like three weeks behind. And I got caught up on that. Um, so, that's those are all of my whips. That's my haul, my one finish. I'm so proud of it. It's the first finish I've had in a while. So, yay! Um, the only other thing I wanted to to um, to do today is um, when I passed 500 subscribers or yes 500 subscribers I um, uh, wanted to give away this Plum Street chart and the name that I drew um, the person never contacted me so I uh, went back to that video where um, I drew the name before and I drew another name, and that person's name I'm going to put right here. So, Patty, I don't know if it's Slowy or Slewy, or hopefully I haven't completely butchered your name. Patty, if uh, you will contact me at my email address, which is here. I will uh, get this in the mail to you. Um, I would, I'd love to do it as quickly as possible um, because 
I'm almost to a thousand subscribers, which uh, is wonderful. Thank you all so much for subscribing, for liking, for all your encouraging, positive comments. Um, but we're almost to a thousand, and so I want to do another giveaway when we pass a thousand subscribers. So, Patty, if you'll contact me this week, I will get this chart in the mail to you. Until I see you again, stay well, be positive, um, know that um, God has this in his hands. He will see us through this, um, and we are going to come out on the other side changed, but hopefully for the better. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Take care of yourself, take care of those you love, and I'll see you again soon.